Anheuser-Busch. Have a terrific day. Yeah, you want a beer? Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, you want a beer? Yeah, sure. Here you go. Bud Light almost got me. Hey guys, surrounded by women, uh, just drinking Bud Light. You know how it is. Uh, love Bud Light nowadays. You know? Hey Jr., how's that Bud Light taste? It's pretty good. Oh damn! Yes, welcome back. I have some videos I'm going to play. I recently came across this, published by the Daily Mail. LGBTQ activists claim Bud Light will go extinct after its parent company distanced itself from Dylan controversies. They miss an opportunity to stand by their commitment to the trans community, according to this article. Why at least five prominent gay bars in Chicago say you won't be able to buy Anheuser-Busch products at their businesses. This is your Morning Rundown. I'm Kai Martin. Today is Friday. It's May 5th, 2023, and here's what's happening right now. Several gay bars in Chicago announced they will stop selling Anheuser-Busch products. This is in response to how the company is handling backlash from a Bud Light campaign with a transgender influencer. Some conservatives began boycotting the brand a month ago when Dylan Mulvaney created a sponsored post promoting Bud Light. The company released a statement that made no direct mention of the LGBTQ community and the marketing executives behind the campaign with Mulvaney were put on leave. Then yesterday, the Belgian American conglomerate's CEO minimized the company's involvement in the sponsored post with the influencer saying, quote, it wasn't a campaign. In response to that, some of Chicago's largest gay bars now say they will no longer sell Anheuser-Busch products. Both Sidetrack in North Halstead, as well as Two Bears Hospitality group, which operates several establishments in Uptown, say they will stop selling any beer made by the company, including the local brand Goose Island. If you take a look at this article, you will realize that Bud Light is on double problems. We have recently seen the boycott. Now, LGBT activists are coming in, making it clear they will boycott Bud Light like never before. Going down on this article, a long-time LGBT plus activist believed Butler will face backlash from her community in the wake of Dylan controversy. Dylan, 26, posted herself drinking Butler at the start of April 2023 using the hashtag Butler Partners. He posted the content to concede with a knuckle match. The disastrous marketing bid has soon seized for the American flagship beer plummet 26%, despite Hausa Bush reporting first quarter earnings of $1.6 billion and with consecutive everywhere professing to boycott the company. Stacey Lynn, the co-owner of the famous Stone War, where many suggest the modern LGBTQ movement began, express sympathy for Dylan in an interview and believe people like her may begin giving up their bot light. As far as marketing, I hope and think they realize that as a brand, they will be extinct in a few years if they are not fully on the side of equality, as that is what the Gen Z consumer expect and demand, she said. She also told Newsweek that the brewery had missed an opportunity to stand by their commitment to the trans community by pandering to and giving to in and giving into transphobic outcries. Stonewall, the New York City home, was where the 1969 Stonewall riot launched, widely considered the beginning of the LGBT plus movement in the United States. The landmark is no stranger to controversy with a brewery refusing to save Bud Light during New York Pride in 2021, 
of a Hausa Booth donation to anti-LGBT politicians was not handled well and she was caught in the middle and she was caught in the middle of a horrible firestorm showing concerns of a Dylan in the wake of the backlash. It comes as the company is suddenly facing outcries and potential boycott from all sides of the political spectrum, though largely centered around consecutive. Hausa Bush reported first quarter earnings of 1.6 billion, which topped Wall Street expectation. The brewery posted revenue of 14.2 billion in the period, which also beat Fox with the share rising 6% since the beginning of the year and 12% in 12 months. It's unclear if the boycott had any impact on these figures and whether a larger impact on the firm's finance would be visible for the second quarters of the financial year if the controversy and boycott rumble on. Yes, this is something that we have talked about for about one month and Bud Light came out recently struggling to say Dylan was not part of the campaign. Now the LGBTQ activists are seeing this like they are struggling to reject him. The possible way they can stand with Dylan is to also call for a boycott. So, but lie is standing the I have said this and I will repeat myself, these people are insane. I don't care about their boycott. It will play no major significance to this company because this man said it clear that the number that consume this product are lesser to the people boycotting Bud Light. Take a look at this. We looked at the Bud Light brand. It was kind of dying off. First of all, what is the profile of a beer drinker? 80% of beer drinkers are what? Men. If you and I right now had a rosé, it'd be kind of weird, right? <laughs> like, hey, you want to have some rosé, Pat? I would say, you're serious, bro? But if you said, hey, you want to have a full send beer? You want to have this? It'd be a little bit more, yeah, let's have a drink to get and have a conversation. <laughs> it's not the LGBTQ community. And then you have to look at the transgender community and they'll say, well, there's about 1.5 million transgenders in America that identify as a transgender. No. No, there's not. The number is so much smaller because beer drinkers can't be 13 years old Gen Z. Beer drinkers have nice. to be what? Above 21. You have to be a dummy of a VP of marketing to say us targeting to transgender community, more men are going to want to drink beer.